Welcome to the Tesla Semi Advocates video drone flight for Tesla for the Tesla Semi factory construction site for Monday, August 12th, 2024. I really like starting the video off with the rendering of the completed Semi factory that was provided by Dan Priestley a few weeks ago as it helps us give context to the work and all of the materials and the video that's to follow. For those of you who haven't been following along, these are the posts and the beams and some of the trusses that have been brought to the site probably six weeks ago now, before the all of this work that we're seeing with the um, footings and perimeter grade trenching. In general, I would say the summary for today's a video and some of the things that I've noticed in looking at it is that there's more and generally larger footings dug on the eastern end of the um, construction site, possibly indicating where stamping and other heavy production machinery will be placed. The bottom trench is the northern perimeter grade and it is interesting to me that the, um, the newer trenching on the eastern side of the what will eventually be the entrance and exit where, where 50,000 Tesla semis will leave a year. The trenches and I mean the posts both are generally larger. The perimeter grade has large footings dug. And if you notice here on the western side, it's hard to see, but basically some forms have been um, built where the perimeter will uh, is, is, is going to be. And what that means to me is that this part of the building in general, it's hard to speculate, but it's going to have lighter equipment. Maybe this will be some of the actual production line. And over to the east, we'll be actually stamping and other equipment. And the, the beauty of this is we'll see the progress as it unfolds. And all of this will make sense. There are three excavators digging large footings on the site. This is one of them, and it's an example of how the perimeter grade not only has a trench dug for the foundation, but has these large footings dug. And I believe when we get higher, we'll see a much better view of that. There's a steady progression of large dump trucks carrying uh, material away from the trenching location here along the northern edge of the building. And they're moving the soil to the southern edge and basically looks like they're filling in and making a more land up at the other elevation, the elevation of the Tesla Semi Giga Nevada existing factory, which is a little bit higher in elevation than this Tesla Semi factory site. You can see the trucks waiting to be filled 
and there's a continual progression of them. And this is the middle of the northern perimeter grade, and to the left is the eastern most edge of the perimeter grade, and there's another excavator working there. As a reminder, this is the master shot feature of the DJI drone and it is programmed and I have no control over how fast it pans. Um, here is where a lot of the trusses were placed and you can see the, the uh, Giga Nevada existing factory up there at the top left of the screen, including one of the, the northern western, the north northern Warehouse on Wheels, or WOW, and the Southern Warehouse on Wheels, or WOW, and then to the right is a third additional Warehouse on re Wheels, all of which don't add up to the amount of land that was dedicated to this site, which was formerly a giant Warehouse on Wheels. So here you can see where all the concrete has been poured and um, there is no sign of the large cranes that many of us are looking forward to seeing. We may need to wait until all of the concrete is footings are, and perimeter grade are complete. Despite the fact that in Texas, they started, they brought the cranes in and started erecting posts and beams while they were still digging trenches, but perhaps in this case, they're going to wait till all of the uh, concrete is poured and then start bringing in the cranes and, and erecting the structure, the skeleton of the building. This is where a, it's very wide um, perimeter footings there. All, and we, the nice thing is that we can see all the way at the to the east where the... Um, where the edge of the building is. So now we've seen the easternmost, the northernmost, and the westernmost edges, and a portion of the southern perimeter grade, but uh, we haven't seen the complete perimeter grade yet. So I'm just letting you enjoy the uh, west to east flyover without adding too much commentary, as basically you can just see there's a lot of footings that have been dug since the week that I've been gone on vacation. And uh, some of us thought that there might be crane, the cranes might have be here by now, but as it is, they're not here. Kind of the next big watershed event we're waiting for is for all the perimeter and grade to be dug and for all the footings to be dug, concrete poured. Haven't seen concrete, concrete poured in a couple weeks, 
they were going fast and furious when they started over on the West End. And um, I imagine that once they start up again, it'll take even more concrete than they bought it, brought in already. And locally, luckily the Cemex, Cemex plant is probably within three miles. Here's one of the lar huge water trucks coming in to fill up his tank. And uh, there's a constant procession of water trucks watering down the um, construction site for um, compaction and to keep dust down. Here's the area right next to the entrance where this entire mountainside was removed. And this will looks to me like it's going to be a roundabout. Here's the water tanks with one of those large water trucks coming in to fill up. And they, they're constantly doing this the entire time. So I'm going to leave it at that and let you enjoy the rest of the video. and. Um, Stay tuned for more progress.